<laughs> oh, he did jump rope challenge. That's cool. No, you do the jump rope challenge. I mean, I might at some point. I don't think it's downloadable anymore, though. I was talking about real life. <laughs> it's the. <laughs> it's like the cinnamon challenge where you have to eat a whole jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> Snaking out of your ass while you still haven't finished eating it. Oh god. No. Johnny's uh Johnny's worried at a supermarket. Johnny's in a supermarket. Johnny's in a supermarket is out of control. Supermarket is out of control now. Johnny's got like two propane tanks hooked up to his cart. Yeah. He's blasting some, down the aisles. Some happy wheel shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to play like Happy Wheels or what's the what's the like the 3D one? Oh, um, Guts and Glory. Guts and Glory. I'd love to play one of those games with you guys on the channel. That shit looks so fucking cranked. I, I would have loved to play Happy Wheels on the channel in its heyday, back when it was like super creative, where all the all the user levels. But then it just became shill. Is it? I mean, are those levels still available, or did or did like the the company that created it like put it behind a paywall or something? No, I think you just probably have to literally scroll past literally hundreds of thousands of levels hmm. to find the good ones. Oh yeah, that is pretty shitty. I mean, I liked Happy Wheels when it first came out, when it was called Excite Bike. <laughs> 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 All right. When uh, it was called Putting the Shopping Cart Back. <laughs> That's a great game. It is, honestly. <laughs> five out of five in, in Game Informer and IGN. Yeah, too much water, though. <laughs> too much water. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm too spread out. I can't support all my, my homies. Things, things, top ten things said in an orgy. <laughs> I knew it was going there. <laughs> <laughs> top ten things to say at an orgy, also. <laughs> I knew it was I knew it was coming there. Oh no, is he gonna kill? Oh, Jesus, fuck. dude, I was half expecting his head to be missing after that. <laughs> I was like... That was an intense fucking angle. That's what I've been saying all this time. Mario need gore. Mario need gore. Yeah, I don't need to conjugate my verbs, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm smart enough to know what I mean. Mario need gore, I know conjugate verbs. You can conjugate yourself over to this dick. <laughs> <laughs> if the opposite of... Pro is con, and the opposite of conjugate is projugate. That is true. <laughs> Can you look up a projugate's a word? I don't think it is, but I like. I want to know. Colgate's a brand. <laughs> it's also a scandal amongst the, amongst the coal mines. <laughs> Colgate. <laughs> okay, actually, if I get Mario over here, then I can use the Peach Jump to. Um, you can use Peach's Jump to heal them both. And then when we finish this, you can get in your peach ring. <laughs> the peach ring. That's that's uh, that's fucking that's the Mushroom Kingdom's fucking pizza gate. <laughs> the peach ring. Yeah. You remember what Pizza Gate actually was, right? Yeah. Like what where, the allegations were. Yeah, where they thought like a pedophile ring was based was a uh, operating out of a pizza parlor or something like that. Yeah, and they they was like, oh, it's got Hillary Clinton, it's got Bill Clinton, it's got. I don't know, all these different celebrities. I'm sold. Where's it playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's everybody's favorite fucking uh, ensemble film. Ensemble. You thought Endgame was the biggest fucking um, collab in the world between. I don't know. I give up. Between celebrities? <laughs> I can't speak to Between anymore. two ferns. <laughs> A bridge between cities. <laughs> A tree grows in. <laughs> 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 what was even the fucking I have no like? No idea what you're talking. What about. was even the genesis of that we were weird practice? But he was like, <laughs> he said some. I don't know why he, we were talking about like like. I, I think I said I made a reference to best of times, worst of times, and then we went off on books. Uh huh. And then he said like, uh, I don't know why you said it, but I don't know if it was intended as a joke. Or you messed up a title. I did it, mess up a title because because you had said something and I was like. You you had mentioned a title, and I thought of a, a tree grows in Brooklyn, even though you said something like a bridge between Ter a bridge to Terabithia or something, and it just had no, it made no sense. And then we just ended up combining all these book titles into stupid shit like <laughs> a bridge between like a bridge between two cities, a tree in Terabithia. It just sounds so artsy, like like it'd just be like it this sort of like 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 somber indie movie, and be like. Based on the best-selling novel, <laughs> a tree grows in Brooklyn. 
<laughs> it does. It sounds <laughs> that has Channing Tatum and Natalie Portman as a married tree couple. Grows, tree grows in Brooklyn, but it's like about kids who have cancer or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's like my sister's keeper or something. My si- <laughs> fucking um, totally. Um, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> Nick was when we were talking about Didi. Nick was joking about having a character that's a valley girl. Like a valley girl wizard yeah. or something. That's awesome. And he has like his arcane object is like a Starbucks, Starbucks cup. cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And then the blacksmith yeah. that, that she goes to is just like, oh, it took me thirty days and volcano rock to build this. So she'd be like, ah, thanks, Grognak. <laughs> yeah. It took me thirty days to craft that. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so we agreed on five gold pieces, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you accept like tips or are you like one of those really progressive portland restaurants that pays their their employees fairly i had to kill two to ask with my bare hands is that gonna like make it more expensive so, like 10 gold <laughs> uh, i don't have much of like a pittance from my parents anymore because <laughs> i moved out uh, i mean like they helped me pay like rent back in Waterdeep, but I lost me song in the last voyage. Oh, I'm sorry. with a spoon. No, I don't. I, I, I'm not that into you, Grognak. Mm-hmm. Ew. Grognak, I'm sorry. Like, we're just not, you know, there yet. Remind, reminds me of a, a tweet that was like, uh, like, a, a, a pretty teenage girl saying, ew, is strong enough to shatter a country. <laughs> <laughs> ew. What the fuck? You never had a you never had a pretty teenage girl say ew to you? Oh, oh, okay. Wait. I know that you I know that that is what you meant and I know that that's how I was supposed to understand it, but I I was thinking like I was thinking like is th- is this something that happened like Greta Thunberg went to a fucking like climate meeting and like I don't know, the CEO of BlackRock was there and she just went ew to him. <laughs> Wait, the CEO of Crackrock? <laughs> yeah, the CEO Why? of Crack. And that's that's just this. But from the cool instead of the crack. Uh but no, nah, serious. Um I don't think I've ever had a girl like straight up tell me like ew. No, or I've like I've never had it either because I'm fucking Yeah, you know, yeah, you you are like the, the sexiest man in this room. Uh, and I mean that with all like, I mean that with all my heart and soul. We wrong. All right, I no I longer mean that. <laughs> Brand- Brandon just uh, Brandon just used belly drum and it increased his attack a whole <laughs> lot. Sock the fuck out of everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I love violence. So. <laughs> that's me. No, but, but more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sexually attracted to you know bits and pieces flying <laughs> off of human bodies. <laughs> I'm sexually attracted to bibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, stay away from the children. Not babies, just bibs. No, but for real, uh, I think the closest that happened, like in that vein, was that um, I just got stood up in like a really shitty way. Like um, you, there's there was this like girl that I went to high school with, and um, you know we we would talk like every now and then. Um, I didn't know whether or not she was interested in me because she would talk to me. She would be like, oh, hey. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, oh, hey. Or sometimes I would say, oh, hey. But in any case, um, you know, there was this one time where we were, we were just like talking on the way to different classes. I was like, hey, um, would you be down to hang out sometime? Uh, would you be down to like, you know, go for like a walk just like through the mall or something? Or I don't know if it was like the mall or just like, you know. In some place, because there's like a park behind the mall. In any case, um, you know, she said yes. And then I show up to where we were supposed to meet, and then she didn't show up. And then, like, I didn't see her again at school. Mm-hmm. For, but, I mean, it's not that she, like, disappeared or something. Like, a couple weeks later, I saw her, like, walking with some other guy. And then I, like, waved her, and she kind of just, like, walked past. So I felt like... I don't know if that's, like, being stood up, or if she just, like, got, like weird vibes for me and just didn't want to say like oh hey you like i don't actually want to hang out but in any case i felt really bad i felt my confidence kind of just like go through the the floor yeah that is pretty shitty yeah like i don't think i was trying to be a creep like i just think like if i was i didn't know i was just like hey do you want to like walk around the mall or something um Ooh. yeah pull the tongue oh think of, what the fuck is this i can't think of any specific instance but i'm pretty sure i have Receive the ill. 
like a verbal ill. Should yeah. I put this back in order to get the the right coins or? She gave us the grab it. She gave you the ill. The ill. <laughs> she gave me the ill, and now my pants itch. <laughs> um. Fuck. Yeah, teenage girls, man. Teenage girls are assholes. Are teenage boys more of assholes? Um, I don't know about more, but in a different way. Yeah, I think I think I think they're on different ends of the asshole spectrum. I just think like <laughs> you mean the mouth. <laughs> oh, you could have taken yeah. the cannon to the other side. Shit, maybe I could. Uh oh. Nah, I'm just gonna it's wait for it. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for it to lapse. But in any case, um, I just think teenagers in general are kind of shitty to each other. Yeah. Teenagers. I think you know we we're not you know taught to be emotionally mature, or emotionally literate. And we have, sometimes we have, like, traumatic events, or sometimes we just have, like, these major misunderstandings that affect us in some deeply emotional way. And then we just take it out on other kids. Because, uh, like, how do, what else do we do? It's hormone rage, bro. Yeah. I definitely was an asshole as a teenager slash kid. Hormone rage? Isn't that a Harry Potter character? <laughs> <laughs> Hormony range? <laughs> first teenager wizard. <laughs> <laughs> no. She was the first trans wizard to ever become trans after the book was published. J.K. Rowling! <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't... I don't... I think I was too, but I think it was only because I was, like, hardened by the bullying. Hmm, I get you. Where I was kind of like, I would just act, uh, asshole to people who weren't intentionally trying to bully me. Yeah. It's kind of, I was kind of like, prepare for it and be an asshole first. See, I was the bully mm. back in like elementary and middle school like I there was this time where I and I feel really bad about it now But like I don't know why I just remember I was like We were like me and some kid we were like running through uh, Like the hallways that are in our in our sixth grade and for some reason I got the urge because like he fell and I got the urge to just like keep kicking him in the ribs um, oh my God. And that didn't end up well for him. Of course. He was badly damaged Um Throw Wait, like, so he fell and just went up to him and started kicking him? Yeah, yeah, like, I had incredibly violent tendencies that, f like, they occurred for no reason. Like, he didn't make me mad, he, he didn't, like, piss me off, I just wanted to kick him. Thanks uh, for the constant reminder of birth control. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Like, this is nothing, like, my upbringing did, this is nothing, like, my parents did. It's like, if, if you, if you are like somebody who's like interested in having a kid and you have the means but somebody tells you like oh wait you kind of look like you can make your kid into the unabomber <laughs> like into a second ted kaczynski and it's like don't believe that don't believe that like has someone told you that no Where that's what i'm saying because you because like you're like oh that's a reminder for birth control it's like yeah, are you kids, i'm just saying kids are assholes yeah but at the same time that that wasn't me being specifically an or generally an asshole that was me being a mentally disturbed child who was later going to have breakthrough schizophrenia at 14. Mm. it's like that's what i thought you meant and it's like don't you know you don't want your kid to have like Mental illness, oh, so that, don't have a kid. It's just that kids are assholes and they're a handful, more than a handful. Okay, okay, my bad for misunderstanding. That's so um, like, like, uh, only a very powerful enchantment could keep a boot tether a specific location like that. We best be careful. It's just like, um, it's like whenever I see kids throwing tantrums at supermarkets, I'm just like, God, thanks for the fucking birth control. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I think you can, you, you should have kids at some point. I mean, not in general. There's like specific, there is like specific rules I think should be met. And I don't think in a eugenics way either. I think if you want to like legitimately make your kid a good presence on this earth. Was that the charm? Or the little relic? Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Um, but first of all, you should be mentally stable. Don't go having a kid if you have like some sort of like, you know, traumas that might, that you are aware of that you might inflict upon your child. And also, like, don't bring your kid into the world for the sake of bringing a kid into the world. Like, bring a kid into the world if you feel that, like, you are confident in the future of the planet, you're confident in your own individual and community future, and, like, you actually feel that, like, having a child can, you know, be good outside of what it would be for you. And again, I don't mean this in a eugenics way. I don't mean like, oh, you shouldn't have a kid if you were like, you know, you know, this race or whatever. But like, you just don't like, 
we don't need more trauma in the world. It's like um, it's like the leftover crack lyric. Uh, I've got addiction and depression swimming in my cum. <laughs> just, how can <laughs> life is pain? Yeah, I'm sick of them. How? Uh, what's the what's the Yorks, words? you're probably Fuck feeling. Like rabbits breed like rats. Oh yeah. Oh sorry, go for You're probably feeling like rats. You're probably feeling pretty discouraged right now. Not that I blame you. I'd be discouraged too if I were you. Garbage. A moon gate can't be opened unless there's a full moon. Duh. Too bad it's gone already. Lucky for you, I know a way to come to get it to come back. Just take the totally non-spooky path leading from the gate that just opened, and everything will work out just fine, and you won't be killed. I promise. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Hmm. <laughs> There's something off about his last message, though. I can't quite put my finger on it. You don't have fingers, Beepo. Perhaps there was more to Madame Boastrella's fortune than she let on. Perhaps someone else is planning to harm us, and our ignomatic allies in the dark as we are. Hmm. To the gate! Um. I think if you are able to be in a uh, good place to have children, I think. I think you should adopt. Oh, that's, a, that's another thing. I throw in a penny, but something tells me no good come from wishing on this particular well. I think, and it's just like, you know, there's a thing. It's just like, well, it's not easy to adopt. And I'm like, yeah, it shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be yeah, easy to adopt. We don't, we don't want everybody who. Uh, we don't want everybody who has, like, a penchant for child asses to be, you know, <laughs> at the foster care center. Oh, spooky cutscene. Hey! Oh, shit, is he a new character? Yeah. Oh, his little eyes bulge at Oh! I love cultural appropriation. <laughs> He's a rabbit, they don't care. Oh, yeah, they don't have culture, those swine. <laughs> They're white. <laughs> oh, yeah. Calavera! Defeat mid I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> um... Yeah, I think, I think um, being in the proper place to have a, a child and not adopt, I think, is inherently selfish. Yeah. Given the state of what we're in now. Mm -hmm. I think that, and, and I don't know, I'm get like, I do agree with you, but I, because I, some people will be like, you know, it's like. I don't even remember what the specific argument I heard at one point was, but yeah, there are so many people. There's so many like kids right now who are suffering because the foster system is bullshit, yeah. especially in America, and because like they don't really have anywhere else to go, so they have to be a part of the system. Mm -hmm. It's like not adopting is kind of the same as like I can't form a good analogy because my brain is kind of fried. But in any case, it's like why. Why not reduce harm when it's totally possible? Yeah. And there's, well, there's plenty of arguments that are like, you know, like I said, it's not easy. And mm -hmm. yeah, I say it shouldn't be. Yeah. There's the argument that like, oh, well, I won't love them as my own kid. I'm like, that sounds like you shouldn't have kids. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what, what are the requirements to you loving something? Having your fucking genetics, having your, 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 uh, you know, the depression and addiction swimming in your cum. <laughs> so... Um, not to, um, to stray too far off of our, of our conversation. I just want to ask if you remember if there's anything specific I should remember about this boss. So I don't like... Just that it hurts. <laughs> oh, he's, he's spooky. I think it's a pretty straightforward mid-boss. Mid alright, alright. As long as I don't have to, like, enter the Konami code to really kill him, then I think I'll be cool. Um. Um. Okay, hold on. I yes. do, um, sorry for being forceful with that. I didn't mean to sound... That's okay. <laughs> Um, in any case, regarding teens and kids being assholes, though, I just wanted to, to, to go back to that. Um, I also don't think, in most instances, if, a, if like, a kid does something that isn't, like, totally heinous, um, I don't think you should entirely blame kids for being assholes. I think kids, like, have it rough growing up in the neoliberal West, and it's, like, just blaming a child for being, like, a quote-unquote asshole without, like trying to help them understand why they're being an asshole and how they can not be an asshole. I think that's also just as irresponsible. Um, I think that, like, you know, aware adults have the responsibility to not just be good role models, but to be, you know, good healers. I think a lot of kids just don't have the cognitive capacity for that kind of level, of, for that level of thinking. That's where there are a lot of, like, a lot of teens that just experience hormone rage because it's something out of their control. Mm-hmm. And they're just, they're just gonna go through that. It's part of, you know, growing up. It's puberty. 
Yeah, but that's the thing, too. It's like, that's how that's how we understand it, right? It's like, oh, you know, it's just kids being kids, just boys being boys or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, there also has to be this sort of, like, there's got to be a balance between it, I think. I think that there are some things that are kind of un out of control of other people's psychologies. Like, you know, there's just, like, if, if a kid's horny, then you can't just give him, like, anti- Oh, shit. I didn't like the look of that. You, you, them. <laughs> you can't just like give them anti horny juice or something. You can't just like you can't just like <laughs> give them some of that, man. You can't give them like the the you know the hormone meditation or whatever. Um, but at the very least, you can help kids be mindful. Mm -hmm. Like you're not going to help children be perfect. You're not going to help teens be perfect. But it, what you can do at the very least is help avoid harm. Um, done by them at least. I get you. No, for sure. I think I think it's worth a shot. A shot. That's why you're not. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you imagine this body breeding? For this. Yes. What do you think? You, th you think I would curse another little boy with my man titties? Um, I'm not sure only if that's on, only on enemies. Yeah, I don't think that's like genetic, is it? Yeah, it doesn't like sixty or seventy percent of men uh, suffer from. The man titty syndrome. Oh, I thought you meant like just being overweight. Well, I mean, there are people who aren't overweight and still have man titties because it's just a genetic thing. Oh, I didn't. And know I've that. had man titties for as long as I can think of. It. Oh, okay, my bad. It's just a, it's just a genetic thing. All right. That's why you've seen like fat people who don't have man titties, and you can see, you know, mm -hmm. like um. I, I just didn't think of that. Like uh, there's this guy from, from or he's not in it anymore, but from the YouTube channel Funhouse, who was like buff. He's like built. Mm -hmm. But what you can see in his shirt, he just has floppy man titties. Oh, that's and just strange. like, damn, it's just, it's just recursed. <laughs> it can literally only be fixed by like surgery and stuff. Mm. But that that was just a kind of a throwaway joke about you know cursing a child with man titties. 